cup of tea. Hey, I'm Alex Alvarez. I'm the founder of the Nomen School in Hollywood. And today I'm going to be drawing a skull, which is cool. I'm gonna start with gray, because black is a little scary. I've actually drawn a lot of skulls since my angsty teen years, so I think uh, I'll just sort of lay it in. Uh, so let's see. Oh, this gray is definitely not a light gray, but that's cool. Start my day uh, usually going for a walk, and so just uh, to try and clear my head of whatever was going on from the night before. I've been on a lot of uh, industry like CG uh, forums and sites over the years where it's cool but there's a lot of sort of harsh crit and with DeviantArt I thought found it to be a very friendly community site from the start um, with a lot of super talented people so I made a portfolio site there I want to say at least like eight years ago. As a kid, I grew up with, as a Star Wars kid, came out in 77, I was four. Um, so I was hardcore sci-fi, but then I got into like D&D &D and computer RPGs, which got me super into fantasy uh, and started reading Tolkien, but then also was reading Asimov. Um, but then through like my teen angst, anger, whatever was going on, I got into uh, you know, Sabbath and Floyd and stuff like that and getting into darker imagery and I don't know, I just always had this attraction to that kind of art. My style, I think, is a result of everything that I've liked over the years. So when it comes to artists, I'm very attracted to people like Dixinsky or Chet Czar or Wayne Barlow, sort of like people who identify as like dark artists. I think I'm still on gray. I'm gonna switch to black. So I think style is, is, I don't know how to define style other than like, you're an amalgamation of all the things you've looked at over your entire life. I always thought art was just for fun. Just that's what my parents kind of always told me. So I never thought that you could support yourself as an artist. Um, but I went to college trying to like find a normal thing to do and uh, couldn't. The only classes I wanted to focus on were really the drawing classes. But the school wasn't really known for art, so I dropped out, and a friend of mine told me about a job at a uh, comic book company, paying minimum wage, but as a colorist. And this is uh, right when like Photoshop was starting to be used to color comics. So I applied for the job using a bunch of like colored pencil drawings that I had, and amazingly, this guy Mike Giles, who ended up being my supervisor, hired me, even though I never used Photoshop before, but most people hadn't at the time. And I got hired at seven bucks an hour coloring comic books with Photoshop. Um, for Malibu Comics and did that for a year and that was my first time ever getting paid to do art It was minimum wage and I thought it was the coolest thing I had ever done in my life That just blew my mind that all of a sudden I'm in a building surrounded by people that are into sci-fi and fantasy and Star Wars and Frazetta and Tolkien and Dune and all these things that I thought were super super cool um, And from that point on I just made a decision that all I wanted to do was be an artist so, so yeah, it was that coloring job. I did that for a year, and then after a year of coloring with Photoshop, I wanted to learn 3D, and that became my uh, career. I think that from a much younger age, if I could go back in time and talk to myself and say something different, going back to like around 12, when I really got obsessed with video games and drawing, I would have told myself like, uh, this is a career. Like, you clearly love this, and you clearly want to do this, and you clearly like playing video games all the time, and drawing all the time, and reading sci-fi and fantasy all the time. And so for me, that's really something that I would tell myself is just to awaken that awareness that you can support yourself as an artist. It requires a lot of passion and it's not easy, but it is possible. So that's what I'd tell myself and that's what I would do differently. I'd focus full time on art from like age 12. For anybody starting out, you have to dis determine if what you think you want to do is definitely what you want to do. And that, and that comes from uh, passion, like finding something that you like to do so much that there's nothing else that you'd rather do. And if that's the case, you're going to do it. And if you do something over and over and over and over again, you're going to get good at it. Love what you do. Do it all the time. Find others that do it too. Like that's super important. Like find other people who love to draw or sculpt or paint or uh, shoot photography or whatever it is that you want to do as an artist so that you all motivate each other and do it constantly. You know, like the school that uh, I have, Noman, it's all about creating a community. It's like getting the students together to hang out in classrooms, at events, um, 
become friends, hang out on the weekends, on Friday nights, on Saturday nights, create art together. Um, people need a support system. Like artists are insecure, like by definition, and that insecurity can uh, cause people to not want to try. So you need to have friends around you that are like, uh, don't do that, just try anyway. Every bad drawing you do is one less bad drawing you're gonna do. So it's like this drawing I'm doing now, like I had no idea when I started if it was gonna be something that I was gonna like. Yeah, I'd be bummed and self-critical if it wasn't or I didn't like it, but a lot of people never like anything they do. So you really just have to have fun with things. All right, well I think before I overwork the drawing, I'll just sort of, just sort of Stays spontaneous, I guess. This is uh, my skull dude for today, and thanks for listening to me talk. Cool.